In today's video, we'll go over Rocket Chat versus Mattermost. You know, more and more teams are looking for a way to communicate securely and privately, and that often means moving away from the big sauce platforms like Slack or Microsoft Teams. Why? Well, it all comes down to one word, control. Control over your data, your privacy, and your own infrastructure. And that right there is where self-hosted open source solutions really start to shine. So here's our game plan. We'll kick things off by talking about why self-hosted chat is such a big deal right now. Then we'll introduce our two main contenders. After that, we're going to dive deep into a comparison of their core features, security, customization, and of course, the cost. And finally, we'll wrap it all up to help you make the right choice for your team. So let's frame the big question here. Your team absolutely needs a solid chat platform, but you either can't or just don't want to use the mainstream cloud services. Maybe you're in an industry with a ton of regulations, or you're a government agency, or maybe you're just really serious about keeping your data on your own servers. This fundamental need for total control is what's pushing so many organizations into the world of self-hosted chat. And when you step into that world, two names pop up almost immediately, Rocket Chat and Mattermost. They are, without a doubt, the leading open source choices. But, and this is important, they are not the same thing. They come from very different places and are built on very different core ideas. Let's unpack that. Let's rewind the clock for a second and look at their backstories. Mattermost has actually been around a bit longer, starting way back in 2011 as a chat tool for gamers. But then they made a really smart pivot to focus on enterprise-level collaboration. Rocket Chat, on the other hand, showed up in 2015, coming out of Brazil with a day one mission, open source flexibility and giving users complete control over their data. These origin stories really do shape the tools they are today. So how do those different origins actually play out in their features? Well, this is where we get to pop the hood and see how those founding philosophies come to life. We're talking more than just channels and messages here. We're talking about what kind of work each platform is really built for. And here it is, the fundamental difference in a nutshell. Rocket Chat calls itself an omni-channel communicator. What does that mean? It's built to be one place for not just your internal team chat, but for talking to the outside world too. Think customers reaching out on social media, WhatsApp, or email, all feeding into one system. Mattermost, on the other hand, is the DevOps powerhouse. It is laser-focused on being an ultra-secure internal collaboration hub for technical teams, especially those deep in the world of DevOps. Now, those philosophies get even clearer when you look at a feature-by-feature -feature breakdown. I mean, sure, they both nail the basics. Channels, threads, DMs, that's all there. But the unique stuff tells the real story. Rocket Chat's standout feature is that omni-channel support, no question. Mattermost's secret sauce is its built-in workflow tools like playbooks to automate common tasks and boards for project management. And just look at the numbers. Mattermost boasts over 600 integrations, mostly for developers, while Rocket Chat has incredible language support, covering 63 languages to Mattermost 16. And hey, don't just take my word for it. This isn't just marketing speak. A technology report from the University of British Columbia found that Mattermost's structured setup and its features were actually super effective at building a real sense of community, even in a tough online learning environment. That really speaks volumes about the platform's ability to create a focused, cohesive space for people to work together. Okay, let's talk about the big one. For many of you, this is probably the number one reason you're even looking at these tools, security. Both platforms take this incredibly seriously, but you guessed it, they focus on slightly different areas. So let's break down how they help you protect your most valuable asset, your data. Before we jump into the comparison, we need to define a critical term you'll hear a lot, air-gapped deployment. This basically means you can run the entire platform on a network that is physically completely disconnected from the public internet. Zero connection. For organizations in defense, government, or critical infrastructure, this isn't just a nice to have, it's a must have. And it's a major strength that both Rocket Chat and Mattermost bring to the table. Underneath it all, these platforms are built very differently. Rocket Chat uses a JavaScript based stack with a NoSQL database, while Mattermost is built on Go and React with a more traditional SQL database. The best way to think about it is like this Rocket Chat's tech is like a versatile, flexible multi tool, it's great for customization. Mattermost stack is more like a specialized high-performance engine. It's incredibly efficient and built to handle a massive load, which can definitely affect how many resources it uses. This difference also shows up in their compliance game. Rocket Chat really highlights privacy-focused features like end-to-end -end encryption and being ready for GDPR and HIPAA right out of the box. 
Mattermost, staying true to its enterprise focus, has a whole portfolio of official certifications like SOC 2, and it's a huge favorite in government circles for being FedRAMP ready. So the takeaway is this. Both are secure, but Mattermost has really invested in getting those formal stamps of approval that big companies and government agencies absolutely require. All right, let's get down to brass tacks and talk about two of the most practical questions for any IT team. How much can you tweak it and what's it gonna cost? This is where the rubber really meets the road. Now, at first glance on the paid plans, Rocket Chat looks a little cheaper, starting around seven bucks a user per month compared to Mattermost's 10. But, and this is a really big but, it's crucial to remember that both platforms offer incredibly powerful, free, self-hosted community editions. The final price tag really depends on how big your organization is and which specific enterprise features you absolutely need. Now, it's also really important to check out what actual users are saying about pricing models. As this user from the self-hosted community on Reddit points out, there's been some recent confusion and even frustration around Rocket Chat's pricing and the new starter plan. Some users were worried it was a new limit on the free community edition. Now, the founder did clarify that the community edition is still unlimited, but it's a good reminder that the stability and clarity of a company's business model is a super important factor to consider. Okay, we've covered a ton of ground. Features, security, cost. Let's pull it all together into a clear guide to help you figure out which one of these platforms is the perfect fit for you. So let's just lay out the trade-offs side by side. Rocket Chat's biggest strengths are that awesome flexibility, the omni-channel support, and its massive language library. The main downsides, it can get a little complex to set up and some people feel the UI isn't quite as slick. Mattermost absolutely excels with its enterprise-level security, its tight DevOps integration, and its ability to scale up. The trade-offs there are a potentially higher cost, a bit of a steeper learning curve, and it might just be overkill for smaller teams. So here's the bottom line. It's actually pretty simple. You should choose Rocket Chat if your main goal is to have one flexible hub for both your internal team and your external customers. Think startups, healthcare providers, or community-focused nonprofits. You should choose Mattermost if you are a large enterprise, a government agency, or a heavily tech-focused team where top-tier security, strict compliance, and deep integration with your development pipeline are the absolute top priorities. Ultimately, the whole decision really comes down to this one question. It isn't just about ticking boxes on a feature list. It's about your organization's DNA. Do you need that open, flexible, outward-facing hub that Rocket Chat provides? Or do you need the secure, structured, internally focused powerhouse for your technical teams that is Mattermost? The right answer really depends on your team's unique workflow and culture.